Bob off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that good stuff that, 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 that's illegal to come into the United States. These dogs can smell just a tiny, tiny little bit. Okay? It doesn't have to be a big amount. It can be just a, just a trace. They can sniff it out. And the way they alert on that is what they'll do is they'll sniff out the luggage, and when they smell it, they'll just sit. And that tells the handler, oh, there's something in there, and they'll go and bear it around in there and find it, and then they'll arrest the person for, for the contraband. Okay? Then we have uh, therapy dogs. So a therapy dog is different than a service dog in that it really doesn't do a job. It's not working. What it does is it provides comfort and support and help for people that are in, that are sick, in the hospital, okay? They bring them in, they let them pet the dog, and, and it's been shown, it's actually been proven that dogs can help stress, it can improve healing, so people heal faster, uh, people have a better attitude, they're, they're less depressed. This has all been proven that dogs can do this. So many hospitals and, and senior citizen homes will bring these dogs in every day just to help people feel better. But they're not really working, okay? They're just coming in and wagging their tail and getting on their lap and licking their face. Okay? And this is another similar kind of, of thing. This is called a comfort dog. And these dogs are seen in uh, senior homes with, with elderly people. They actually live with the person. It's their dog. Again, it's not working, but it's providing comfort. It's providing uh, mental health therapy so that they're happier, they're, they're more active. It's been shown that elderly people who have dogs are more active. They get up more, they walk the dog, they're, they're, they're more social. So it's, it, it prevents, it actually can prevent Alzheimer and Alzheimer's disease and dementia. So it's become a real trend now to help seniors that are able to, to get these types of dogs so that they have a more active life in their senior years. Okay. And then we have uh, search and rescue dogs, okay? And you probably have these in China as well. So when there's a big earthquake uh, or a big disaster, um, they send these dogs in to find people, okay? In the rubble, when there's all this rubble, these dogs go in and they sniff around and they, they look for people who've been injured or, or um, caught in, in an earthquake or, or some other disaster. Um, so these dogs are, are sent out to a location when a disaster happens. And we have thousands of these dogs in the United States that are trained and they actually send them all over the world to, do, to actually help out in search and rescue. Uh, uh, in, 